the ellipse. When you look at a circle at any other way other than 90 degrees to its surface, you see an ellipse. In other words, if I rotate this circle around, then the shape changes. This shape now is an ellipse. There was a circle in that position there, but now it's an ellipse when it's rotated like that. The length of that line doesn't change, but the length of this line here gets shorter as we rotate it. That distance there gets less and less as it rotates. That's called the minor axis. And this length here is the major axis. Now, if I continue to rotate that, it will become an edge. So you're looking straight down at it. You don't see any of the surface at all. So it goes from a circle to a straight line. Another way you can see an ellipse, if you cut a cylinder at an angle to the axis. If you cut a cylinder at any angle other than 90 degrees, if we cut it at 90 degrees, the section you get is a circle. But if you cut it at any other angle to the axis, you get an ellipse. Now this here is the ellipse. There are two elliptical curves there. If you cut a cone at an angle, you get an ellipse. So if you look at it, there's three ways, geometrical ways of getting an ellipse. One is to slice a cone at an angle. The other is if you cut the cylinder at an angle, you get an ellipse. And the other way is if you rotate a circle, you get an ellipse. Given the major axis and the minor axis of an ellipse, so you're given the major axis and the minor axis, draw the ellipse using concentric circles method. Use the compass, set it to the half the minor axis and draw a circle. Now do the same for the major axis. Draw a circle. Now with your 60 degree set square, divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Now at the points on the major circle, draw vertically down. In other words, from the major circle, draw parallel to the minor axis. So from the points on the major circle, draw vertically down. That's from that point there now. Now, where the line hits the minor circle, draw horizontally across or parallel with the major axis. So from the minor circle, draw parallel to the major axis. So that's a horizontal line in this case. Where this line hits the minor circle, horizontally across, and the same from this point here. Now to get the points on the ellipse, where these two lines meet, where the vertical and horizontal line meet, that point, that's a point on the curve. And that's a point on the curve there. And that gets you the points on the curve of the ellipse. Now freehand, Draw in lightly and then line in your ellipse. And that's your first ellipse drawn.